friends! Hi, dear subscribers! Today we will play a game called Minecraft. We are in a very cool location where each of you should like. Hello, everyone! Today we have come to a deserted island where today we have to survive at least one day. We'll have to do a lot of different things to make it comfortable to survive. Hi, hi! I think it is better that we do not delay and begin our survival at least with the construction of our house. Because it's going to be night soon and we're going to have to make a bed right away. The most important thing we will start our survival is, of course, the extraction of resources. Without them, we will not manage anything. That's why we're mining them right now. I'm mining for sand. While everyone was doing something, I already cut down the big tree that we had on the island. Of all the wood I want now to start building our first house in which we will live. In order for us to be comfortable to build a house, I will now collect all the grass from the ground. Yet we need a level ground to build a house. We'll also need the seedlings I'm about to procure. And now I will be mining for us all a rock. We will need it to make a stove that will heat us. From it, we will also make stone tools that will help us in construction. I'm getting sand to make windows in our house. After all, if you melt the sand in the oven, it will be just glass, which will suit us for windows. Very soon we will be building a house. About this frame of the house we are able to. And I think that for the first time such a house should be enough. The most important thing is to have enough resources for its construction. So, now we will finally make our own house! Each of us will make a certain part of it so that we can make it full! Like I'm making a roof now so the rain won't stop us from living! Well, I start building walls in our house. Yet our house does not have to be like a doorway and it is not a regular tent. We will live here and soon even make windows. It will be very comfortable. I'm about to make my own window frames which we're going to put windows in. Still, they will be small because we have not as much glass as we plan to do. The main thing is to be comfortable. I will help Pinkie Pie now with the construction of a roof in our house. However, it is big enough and it will be necessary to do all this together to quickly move to the next part of survival. Well, now I will help Rainbow Dash to assemble all these walls to the end. Yet it is a difficult task. Also, we will need to decide something with our sex because to live in a house where the floor is not comfortable ground. Now we will begin to build our floor. Just to fill it with wood, we need to dig all this land. Now we will do it! I hope someone will help me. Of course I will help you, Rainbow Dash. This is quite a difficult task for one person. Even if we have a stone shovel, it is still hard for us. We are girls and we are hard. Here we are already starting construction of our floor. We have just a lot of wood left after the construction of the house. And now we will quickly fill it up. We have to do this together so we can finish this. Now I'll help you with that, Fluttershy! We were almost able to finish this floor in our house. Now our house already looks residential and we have only a beautiful interior. Now we are going to do that. I'm going to be inserting windows into the window frames to make beautiful windows. We will have a view in all four sides of our house. Very beautiful and bright. Well, I am making the interior of our house. Now I will arrange all the four beds that we found on the island, as well as arrange all the things you need. After that, the house will be completely ready. So we finally built our house and we'll have to decide what we're going to do next. So now we are going to rest a little bit and then we are very tired. What are we going to do? Our house turned out very cozy, but we have a very ugly outside. I suggest you decorate it a little later to make it look very comfortable on our island. At least no one will notice it. With the decoration of the house, we need to take our time. We have no food at all, and we need to figure out how we will get it. You must consider all methods of extraction and choose the most effective. I think that fishing will be the most effective. Consider the four of us will fish for all and then just fry it in the oven. Only we will have enough scarce waste of wood. Now then I suggest you do something. Let's for example build a vegetable garden. Someone will take care of him now and someone will do other tasks that have not yet been done. Now we will just start building our garden near the ocean. Here we dug up a lot of land as well as picked some more seedlings. Now we'll have a big wheat field. We will do this together so that we do not take too much time. Now we will quickly plant all the seedlings and we can go to the next tasks. I wonder what the others are doing. Now I want to take all the flowers that we collected in the beginning and plant them near the house. It's going to look really beautiful and I think my friends are going to love it. 
I also want to try fishing here. I just made a fishing rod and see if I can catch anything here. Because we got an ocean full of fish, and I think I can catch one. About this kind of vegetable garden, we already succeed! I think that we have enough for the first time, so that we collect wheat and make bread from it. The most important thing is to take care of this garden and do not forget! Now, I'm already planting all the beds with wheat seeds. We have a lot of them, and you can even expand our beds in the future. There's enough wheat here for a long time and no one will break it. Now we've decided to embellish our house. We have a lot of resources left, and now we will transform our house into a very cozy place that will be beautiful both outside and inside. Look what we are doing now. Some of us are building a deciduous border of our house so that we always have vegetation. I'm decorating our windows now so they're nice and not flat. Now with Rainbow Dash, we will do this thing so that all the water in our house does not accumulate near the windows and the house does not look very flat. It will be such a peculiar continuation of the roof. I'll help Applejack make our triangular roof. We'll need it very much because if it rains, the water will not accumulate on the roof and will just fall down. This is very good and the house will not leak. Here we are finally almost finished. And now I suggest we all just run and look around in our territory. Still, I wonder what would be so interesting here that we can find. The most important thing we will start our survival is of course the extraction of resources. Without them, we will not manage anything. That's why we're mining them right now. I'm mining for sand. While everyone was doing something, I already cut down the big tree that we had on the island. Of all the wood I want now to start building our first house in which we will live, in order for us to be comfortable to build a house, I will now collect all the grass from the ground. Yet we need a level ground to build a house. We'll also need the seedlings I'm about to procure. And now I will be mining for us all a rock. We will need it to make a stove that will heat us. From it, we will also make stone tools that will help us in construction. I'm getting sand to make windows in our house. After all, if you melt the sand in the oven, it will be just glass which will suit us for windows. Very soon we will be building a house. About this frame of the house we are able to, and I think that for the first time such a house should be enough. The most important thing is to have enough resources for its construction. So we end our survival on this desert island. It was very cool and interesting, and we were able to create comfortable living conditions for us all. I think in the future we will do something else. This concludes today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Viewers, if you liked today's episode, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will be playing Minecraft, and we are in a very difficult situation. I think we can get out of it. Hello, everyone. We are now in complete captivity. We were caught by the evil Fluttershy, and we do not even know what to do. It's impossible to escape from here because she's very experienced. Hi, hi. I think we can somehow escape from here as long as we come up with some plan. This evil Fluttershy is always here and never goes away. I think there is a way to escape. I have an iron pickaxe that evil Fluttershy couldn't find. Now we need to break the cage and escape very quietly. Yay! Finally, now we will quietly escape from her. Only it will not be for long because she will start looking for us. You need to hide well or run away. Run away from this place, because it is a very experienced hunter. It can easily find us even when we hide in some cave. You have to watch out. Run all the way to a remote place from this prison. We need to find some forest to hide in, because it will be much harder to find us there than in a normal open field. The idea of the forest is very good, so let's find it quickly. There, we're just going to get a small amount of resources to survive in this world. I am very afraid to run away from her. Evil Fluttershy is a very dangerous hunter in this forest, and she will definitely catch us. We have to beat her pretty good to win. Let's quickly find the forest and start accumulating resources before this hunter catches up with us. I'm really afraid that we're going to run out of resources and she's going to find us real quick. We finally found a forest where we can start chopping wood. We will need it very badly in the future survival where we will be saved from the hunter. We need wood to scrape a lot of things. First of all, we're going to use it as fuel for the stove, and finally, we're going to make tools. We'll need them to protect us from the Huntress. I hope Evil Fluttershy doesn't come early and disturb our tree prey. We need to get as many of them as we can and keep running until the hunter can find us. We can also make a house out of wood, of course, but we will quickly escape it because the hunter will come running. 
She can find us even a few hundred kilometers away. We need to be careful. Things are going really well so far, and I'm really glad we got away from evil Fluttershy. I was tired of sitting there in a cage, and I wanted to run along the street. And here I am. I have a bad haircut. I think the hunter is out there watching us and preparing to attack us again and cage us. Please be ready to run. Do not worry, Pinkie Pie. So far, there is no one in the area, and we are definitely safe. The main thing is not to think about it, and everything will be fine. Get some wood in peace. Oh my god. In the far away, I noticed a hunter. We need to hurry away. How could she just find us? We ran so far from it and even hid in the forest. Hurry up and run. I told you I had a bad haircut. I knew she was already coming to us, so I was ready. Run as fast as possible. I think we'll have to find the village so we can hide from the hunter. We run very far from her because she seems to be lagging behind. We need to run through some woods because there she will definitely lose track of us and we'll search again and we will run away to the village. Let's run already. It is quite a bit to run to the nearest forest. It was a very good idea where you can confuse the hunter. We're gonna make it, I'm sure of us. That's the forest. Let's run into it and finally get away from this hunter. It is very scary and I do not want to see her anymore. She scares me so much. So we finally make it to the village and evil Fluttershy is still behind us. Now we can feel safe in this village and have a little rest from running. We need to find some inconspicuous house, which is very well hidden and does not attract attention. There we can hide from the hunter for a while and discuss further plans. So we finally found some kind of home, and for the first time, we're gonna be sitting here. I don't know where we're going to go next if the hunter catches us again, but this will go on forever. I think that for sure we cannot just run through the woods. So we need to come up with some other idea. What about the next time she comes up to us to climb higher? Oh, so this is a very good idea. If we get higher, we will be able to see the whole view of the territory that is near us. We'll figure it out. Everyone, a great plan we came up with, just in case we can find any deep cave, because there are so many moves and very dark. She can't find us there. Oh my God, here in the distance you can see this hunter again. What a horror. How could she find us here? Let's run to the nearest mountain and stick to our plan. I think on the mountain she'll probably lose her way because she ran very far away and think we ran far into the fields. But we're not so stupid, so we climb the mountain. It's not much, but there are tall trees. We'll climb them until the hunter gets out of our way, and we'll just look around and see where we go from here so we don't get found. Well, now we can say for sure that the evil Fluttershy lost her way. It looks like she's not as experienced as the civilian said. We were able to beat her, and it's really cool. So if you think further, we have a lot of space at our disposal. There are some fields, but there are some lakes. Maybe a good place to hide in the lake? No, Applejack! This is definitely a very bad idea. And if she runs past and easily finds us, there will be no going back. Maybe run into some dense forest? Girlfriends, I know which idea exactly works for this huntress. We just need to find a deep cave. Let's take a look around and run right over there and hide right there. So friends, here we are at last in the cave, and now we need to run around and find the place where evil Fluttershy will not be able to find us. Hurry up and run. So friends, here we are at last in the cave, and now we need to run around and find the place where evil Fluttershy will not be able to find us. Hurry up and run! It's really very easy to get lost here, so you need to look carefully where you're going and find a place where we can hide from the hunter. I think there is a place. I get pretty scared in this place because there is almost nothing to see and a lot of lava. The main thing is not to fall there and everything will be fine. I think we're almost there. We need a place that evil Fluttershy doesn't want to go to and we're gonna get away from her in this place. My passions are getting hot and I'm getting very scared for my life. I think there's a passageway in the corner over there where we can hide from evil Fluttershy. This is just the perfect place to hide and we will definitely need it. Hurry up and go. Oh my God, not long we could stay in this place. It turns out that evil Fluttershy was already waiting for us here in advance. What a mess we didn't expect to see her here. Rather run away from it because it will catch us if we stop even for a few seconds. We need to figure something out, but for now we just run. We need to throw it into lava somehow. Interesting. How are we going to save ourselves with lava? We will never be able to throw it into lava because this is a very difficult task. 
You can certainly try, but it's very difficult. Now we will jump to the other side and think about it. Oh my god, evil Fluttershy fell into lava herself. Looks like she didn't have enough speed to jump like us. Somehow we managed to defeat this evil Fluttershy, and it turns out we even saved a whole forest from her search. Now no one gets caught in her evil hands. We certainly ran into this series, but it was not in vain. We completed our task and finally ran away from this hunter. Yes, it was very hard, but we did it. Here we are finally out on the street back to our village. Now we have to think about what to do next. I think we're just going to survive without the hunters. You and I are great people who have spent a lot of time and effort. We did all this for a reason. And now we and a lot of civilians are out there. And that's great. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like this series, like it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. Today we woke up and learned very bad news. We have our friend Fluttershy missing. Hello, everyone. This news is very scary. It seems like we just woke up and our friend is not quite there. Where is she? Let's find her soon. She's got to be around, I'm sure. Let's start looking soon and of course we'll start with our house. She could just be in some other room anyway because we have a very large house. I'll start looking on our second floor where we woke up. Could she be here somewhere? Either way, she should be in some room in our house because we have so many rooms. I will help Pinkie Pie with the search, but I will look in other rooms. Yet our second floor is so big that one person is not enough to quickly inspect everything. Well, I'm gonna go to the first floor and try to find Fluttershy there. She couldn't just leave our house. She's got her own house, but I'm not sure she's there. I've already run around a lot of rooms, but I can't find Fluttershy. I try to run into all the toilets and even go out on the balcony. She could be anywhere, but I'm sure she's home. It is necessary to run and look in every corner of our house. I have already run completely the second floor several times, but I cannot find. I even went to our mini park, but it's not there either. I have no idea where Fluttershy is. I also ran all over the ground floor and even a little ran out into the street. She is not at all. Let's try to look outside on our property. So, now we will start running around our precinct. We are divided throughout the perimeter to thoroughly inspect each place in a short time. I, for one, will be in the area closer to home. I will now thoroughly examine the area that is on the side of our house and the main area where the pool is located. There are so many different places to get lost. Well, I will be watching the entire front yard of our house. Just the place where she could have been the last time if she left the house. Maybe she got hit by a car in here or something. So far, I don't see any evidence that would indicate that Fluttershy is here. Everything is as usual, and you can't even see anything like Fluttershy. I really hope she's okay. Pinkie Pie, try not to catch panic. We all have a missing girlfriend, but we need to stay calm to find our friend. The main thing is to keep moving and quickly find her. In the front yard, I too cannot find her. This is very scary because we have missing part of my little pony. Let's try now to look at her house, in case she came there. I'll start looking for her right now at the main entrance to her territory. She has so much here, but she is nowhere else. Where can she be? I don't understand at all. I will try to find it somewhere in the backyard. Here it has a lot of gardens. Suddenly it fell somewhere between them, or vice versa, works in them. I don't see her anywhere. She has such a nice park on the territory, but she is not here either. Where could she have run? Is she at home now? If she's not there, you'll have to watch out. I have already run along and across this area where I look. I looked through every hole in this place, but it is still nowhere. Maybe she's playing hide and seek with us or is she really lost? I will try to look clearly at every place in her plot. Yet it has a large one and she herself could get confused somewhere and get stuck. I hope she's alive and waiting for us somewhere. I am very alarmed by her disappearance. She could not just walk away from us. I do not understand everything. Let's try to find her in her house. This is my last hope. Let's now start looking around her house. She has three floors, and so each of us has been assigned to each of the floors. Now you have to look in every room to find her. Now I'm beginning to inspect the second floor. She certainly has a very large house, but it is wooden, and we have more of high tech. Okay, better not talk about that now, but look for Fluttershy. I move a little to the attic. It here is the biggest and usually it is here. Let's try to find it here. She should definitely be in the house. 
and nowhere else. Because other places I do not know. While I run around the ground floor, I can't see it. I certainly did not run the whole floor, but it is nowhere. I have no idea where else she might be. Now I'll try to look better. On the second floor too, I cannot yet find her anywhere. She could not just disappear from our house. I'll try to run through all the rooms and walk on the balcony. In the attic, it is also completely gone. I'm already completely lost from the fact that I cannot find my girlfriend. I don't even know where she is while we're looking for her. Let's try looking outside. So here we are on the street. And we're gonna have to split up all over our city to find our friend. She could be anywhere, so please keep your eyes open. I really hope that she will be found very soon. I miss her and I want to see her at last. Why is she so lost to us? We need to find her and ask her. I will try to look for her in some elite neighborhood not far from here. She has long dreamed of visiting there, and I think that suddenly she went there without us. If so, very well. I'll just run through the streets of our city and try to find any trace that will help us find Fluttershy. So far, I can find nothing but houses. I will continue on. I've reached the park in our town, and I'm going to try and run over it and look for Fluttershy here. She likes to walk here all the time, and suddenly she wants to come here alone. We've already been able to run all over this town, but we can't find her anywhere. I'm on my way up to our elite neighborhood right now, but I don't think she'd come here alone. Maybe she's in the mountains. By the way, she can also be in the mountains. She told me that she really wanted to climb somewhere higher. Just the mountains she meant. She's 100% here if she's not in town. Hurrah! We are on the trail. Now we ran to all the mountains of our city to look for our friend. We now know for sure that she should be here. I really hope we can find her. I really hope she's here. We're going to have to take action now because we've gone through all the locations where Fluttershy could be, except this one. Maybe something happened to her. Really? Something could have happened to her, so she's not coming home. Let's speed up the search and finally find her. You can't run like that. We've already run half the mountains, but we haven't been able to find anything like Fluttershy. Let's try to look in the most unusual places in case she is there. This is the only option left for us to make, because it is nowhere to do. Even if we look at the mountains, we cannot even notice any silhouette. So she's down there somewhere. Oh my god! Fluttershy, finally we can find you! What just happened to you? Why are you several times bigger than us? Have you become a giant? Please tell me what happened to you. It's just awful. I don't believe you're that big, Fluttershy. You're just indescribable. You won't even be able to come into our house because there will be little doors for you. Tell me quickly what happened to you. Why are you silent? What were you doing here without us? Why did you run away from home? We were so worried about you. You have no idea. Friends, you just don't worry. I decided to just go for a walk and found some berries. And they were magical, and I became so big. I read that this action will pass very soon. I was hiding here. All is clear with you, Fluttershy. You love us to rub the nerves. We have already walked the whole city and found you only here. How could we not notice you? You're so big. Run home. Hurrah! Look! Fluttershy is back to normal. I am so glad. Now we can safely move on in our house. This is very cool. I hope it never happens again that Fluttershy runs away from us. It's been a long time since we've been looking for you, Fluttershy. It's dark already. All right, the important thing is that we were able to find you. And now we're going to live happily ever after. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like today's series, like it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today, we will play a game called Minecraft. We have just heard the terrible news that we have bandits in the forest. We need to eliminate them urgently. Hello, everyone! These are not just bandits, but real monsters. They are just huge size and very angry, my little pony. We need to do something real against them to beat them all. Hello! Against them, I propose to build us a big house in which we will live and will be saved. It has to be protected so the giants can't break it. So now we begin to build our house. It must be very spacious so that we were not crowded. Also should be built from blocks that are difficult to break. For example, a rock. The stone is quite a sturdy block, so it is better to make the house out of it. It will be difficult to break these giants, so it will not be possible to burn. 
It's twice the size of a tree. In order that we may build this house as soon as possible, we have been assigned responsibilities. Each of us builds a certain part of our house, so we build it faster. We already have a house big enough. We need to make as few large windows as possible so that you cannot climb through them. And better to strengthen them, too. I think there's still something missing in our house. Let's try to make some extra protection so we can definitely feel safe in this house. For example, make a second layer. Great idea! It's time to start making a second layer, or we won't make our home in time to attack these giant evil My Little Pony. You have to do everything in advance so you don't make a fuss. We decided to make a second layer of protection for our home. Only for this, we chose a block that will be much stronger than obsidian. It's also our house won't be demolished by giants. The block we chose for the second layer, as you may have already noticed, it is obsidian. It is almost the strongest block in the entire game of Minecraft. The only thing stronger than him is the hips. With obsidian, these giants certainly cannot do anything. They can burn this block, detonate, but it will not break. The only way to break it is with a diamond axe, which the giants don't. Like we are already finishing the construction of the second layer, but we still have a lot of time before the attack of the giants. My little pony, we need to come up with something to eliminate them all. Great idea! I suggest you make some traps in which all these monsters will fall. We can make them more than one in all the time we have before the attack. So, we've already built our whole house, and you can see a little bit what it looks like. Now we will be completely focused on traps so that we can catch these giants. I hope everything will work out. We are about to dig a very deep hole into which all these evil giants of My Little Pony will fall. In most cases, of course, they will jump over this hole, but we can't make it any wider. We can't do it any wider because we have to get out of here in an emergency. And if this ditch is very wide, then we simply cannot get quickly over it. So leave only this. As you may have noticed, from below we make the same of hole we get. We will need to make it completely around our house so that there is protection everywhere. We don't know which side the evil giants are coming from. Now we will quickly finish making this trap and move on to a simpler one. This trap was the heaviest and was difficult to build. This is going to be so much easier. We're about to set a second trap. It will be very good and will have to help us not in the liquidation itself, but so that we can quickly escape from these giants. We're gonna set these bear traps along the whole hole we dug. These traps will block the passage of the giants a bit and slow them down a bit during the attack. It will be very cool. As soon as the evil giants of My Little Pony jump our moat, they will immediately fall into these traps. The traps will damage them and they will definitely slow down, though they will be slow. I think that during the attack of the evil giants, this should definitely help us. It will take giants a long time, and we will have time to run to our house to hide from them. They will not even notice us. Here we are finishing doing this trap. It remains quite a bit, and very soon we will start building the next trap. We have a long way to go before the attack, and we need to use it to the maximum. The next trap will be no less necessary to us during the attack. It will already be aimed at the complete elimination of monsters and should work for sure. We'll tell you all about her. We're about to dig a very deep hole so the giants can't fit in. We of course do not know what size they will be, but we will try to do as much as possible. They will fall into these pits. These pits will be located in several locations on our territory. They will be covered with hidden blocks that we have not yet figured out what they will be. But most importantly, they're invisible. In order to hide these pits, we will use hidden ground. It will be just like the grass in our territory. Only if you stand on it, it will fall down, just as all enemies will fall into the pits. At the bottom of this hole, we will have to pour lava because we are all giants who will fall into these pits will not have to come out of them. We certainly make narrow pits in which they are stuck. We are already beginning to build the next trap, which will be much different from the previous ones. It will not be fully configured to take damage, but more to interfere. We are now digging another moat around our entire territory. It will be in front of our main moat. There will be very little room for the giants to jump them both. 
see how close this ditch is to the main ditch. This is very dangerous, and you will need to try to jump first one ditch and then immediately next. Hardly all giants can do this. There will be lava pouring down this ditch instead of spikes. This is made especially for diversity and for us to have at least some lighting in our territory. It will definitely attract the attention of evil giants. We have almost completely made one side of this pit. Only it will be necessary to do it all symmetrically to our main ditch. We don't know which side these giants are coming from, so cover our bases. Night has come. It's just horror. These evil giants, my little pony, are already near us. How big are they? We thought they'd be a little smaller, but they're not small. But our traps will definitely have to cope with them. We hoped they could be more than usual. The main thing is to keep them in sight to escape from them. They will soon attack us. Oh no! So they began their attack! They are quite slow and it is very good! We can escape from them. I can even hear them getting trapped and getting slower. Now the most important thing is just to run away from them. Remember all our traps! Do not get caught in hidden pits. They are located on the corners of all our territory. There are very few of them left. It seems that two giants ran more to the house only first need to lose them. They must not see us enter this house. Let them think they are following us. At last we are home. Here we can feel completely safe. Here they cannot reach us. They won't be able to break the house down, let alone go through the windows. It seems that everything has calmed down in the street and we were able to cope with them. What a joy that we were able to defeat them. We really did it. Now the forest can live in peace. We have defeated the giants. How happy I am that we have succeeded. We spent the whole day to do this and we were able to save the civilians from the real evil giants. Now we can live in peace and civilians will thank us. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like today's series, like it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. We have received some very terrible news, which we must resolve today. Hello, everyone. It turns out that in the forest where we live today, some evil children, my little pony, will have to do something about them. Otherwise, they'll destroy the entire forest. Hi! I think the best thing for us is to keep them away from us. So let's build some big house so they can see us and we'll feel better. So, now we start building the house. It must be full and big, yet we must fully fit into it without exception and so that we were not crowded. The best way to start is to build a house out of a rock. After all, it is a strong enough block and it is much better than any wood. It will definitely not be reliable for us. Everything we do is for safety only. In order that we may quickly build this house, we have divided up our duties. Everyone builds a certain part of our house, and so we can build it very quickly. The main thing is not to be distracted. The advantages of building from a rock still do not end. This block will be hard to break for ordinary children, so it will also be impossible to burn it, such as any wood. So our house is safe. I still think that's not enough. Let's try to secure our home with some other layer. Yet we do not know what power evil children possess, my little pony. We must be careful. We are just beginning to build the second layer. We chose a very good unit for it because it is very strong. There's no way anyone can get in or break our house now. The block from which we will make all this second layer will be obsidian. It is so strong block. This is the second strongest block of all the blocks in Minecraft. Stronger, it will only be the hips. This block is completely impossible to break having light accessories. It cannot be blown or broken by a conventional pickaxe. It needs a diamond pickaxe. It's the only way to break this block. With this block, we will cover our whole house. Even try to dig underground to secure the passage from below. We still don't know what these evil children My Little Pony can come up with. Here we have almost finished the construction of the second layer. It seems that we almost built our house, but still something is missing. Let's better think of some traps for them to eliminate them completely. So we have come up with a trap to do against these evil children, my little pony. The first trap will be quite simple, but it is certain that one of the enemies will get caught and die. This trap will look like a very deep hole to be dug right outside. From the bottom of this hole, we will place
place necessarily spikes that will kill all who come here. After all, we need to be sure that no one can get out of here. We are very afraid of everyone. In principle, this place is quite good for this trap. It will be our main, because from it, we will make the next traps. You'll find out about them later. You'll love them. It is good that there are four of us. Without all of you, I would definitely do it all for a long time. And here we manage very quickly and will definitely make it tonight. The evil children of Fluttershy will come to us at night. Now all we have to do is make all this moat around our house so we don't have to guess which side these kids are coming from. It is better to be insured and do everything in advance. By the way, all this is very well designed because all the traps will be on our territory. If the kids get here, they won't be able to get back into the woods. Our house is like a big trap. The second trap is a bear trap that will be placed along the entire moat. They will be very effective against these evil children and will definitely stop their attack. If they can jump over the moat, we will have to run from them. And to slow them down immediately after the jump, there will be these traps. They will inflict severe damage and can leave without legs. It'll slow them down a lot and we'll definitely be able to get away from them on our property straight to the house so they don't notice because this will be our only place of salvation. Here we are finally finishing this trap and we can already begin to build a third one. We have plenty of time, so we have to do this. Now it is only the first half of the day and we have already done half of all traps, but this trap will take us quite a lot of time. It's quite complicated and there's a few. As you have noticed, we are now digging deep pits on our site. They will be made to let the enemies fall here. These holes will be covered with hidden blocks that we haven't found yet. I think it's best to use hidden grass. It will look like a thin carpet on which if you step, it will immediately collapse down. It will be very inconspicuous. Let's try this. These pits are made so that the enemy simply falls and cannot get out of here. From below, we will pour lava and think that it is because of her they will just die here and that's all. We have been doing this trap for a long time. It is almost evening and we have to finish it completely. They will be four pieces, which will be located on our territory. Do not worry. If we remember where they will be located, we agreed to make them right on every corner of our territory. We can't confuse them with ordinary ground. Let's move on to the final trap. Our next trap will be quite mysterious. It will not be aimed precisely at eliminating our enemies. It will be done to confuse evil children so that they fall into other traps. This trap will be an additional ditch in front of our main. It will be flooded with lava, and this lava will be very embarrassing to these children. They'll try to jump it and probably won't even notice the second moat. There is also very little room to jump the second ditch, so you can accidentally not jump and just they will all fall into the ditch. I hope that will happen and we will eliminate them. The main thing is that we all have time to finish before night. After all, we have very little time and is already beginning to darken a little. We must hurry because there are many things to do. This moat will have to be also extended completely around our house. After all, we do not know on what side evil children will attack us and we need to be ready always. I hope that this will help us. Night has come, practically nothing to see, but we see these evil children. They all look like Fluttershy and it looks very scary and strange. I hope we are lucky. They are right next to us. It looks like our house is the most distinctive of all that is in this forest. And it is very good. We will try to eliminate them with traps. Oh no! So they started attacking us. They were preparing to jump for so long that we almost fell asleep. It's a good thing we were ready to run away from them too. Hurry up! As far as I can see, a few of our enemies have definitely fallen into some kind of trap. Which means they're definitely working. And we're only going to have to run away from them now to get trapped. Now we will have to get away from them and hurry home. There we will feel safe and no one will get to us. Hurry to the entrance to our house. It is very close. Let's go already. Here we are at home. Now we are just waiting for the morning or when everything will calm down outside the window. There is the last enemy who has not fallen into the traps. But it's okay. He's not getting out of here. Hurrah! At last, everything is quiet outside the window. Apparently, the last evil child fell into our traps. We have rid the forest of the little robbers, and now for sure everything is safe. This concludes today's episode. We have done too much for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribers, if you like
like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. Today we woke up and learned something. We fucked up our friend Fluttershy. Hello, everyone. It's just a horror. We woke up today in our house and realized that Fluttershy is nowhere. We need to find her somewhere. I think she couldn't have gone far. Hi, hi. Let's try to look for her, though, somewhere. We have a small city, and somewhere we must find her. But first, you need to check all the places that it often covers. So now, we begin to inspect our whole house. Rainbow Dash and I will completely run around our second floor because it is very big, and Applejack will be watching downstairs. I hope nothing happened to her. Now, I will try to run all the rooms on the second floor. In case she is somewhere in the shower or in the toilet, you have to look carefully. The first floor is spacious enough, and you can say that this is a recreation room. Fluttershy usually likes to come here, but even here, she is not visible. It looks like she is not home. She couldn't run away from us in the morning. Nobody gets up early and goes anywhere. We used to get up all together, and now it's just the three of us. Look better. Inspect all the rooms. As soon as we finish doing this, we will think on where it can be. She won't run very far from us. Fluttershy is still our friend. We have already searched almost all the places where Fluttershy could be. Consider that you have examined the whole house. Let's try to look for her outside. We still have a pool. Now we have gone outside and will inspect all our territory. Personally, I am now looking at the full main entrance to our house. She could be here. The main thing is to look better. Me and Applejack will be looking all over our backyard. It's big enough, so it's hard to do it alone. You have to search every place to find her for sure. She could be anywhere. I have no idea where she might have gone. I will now watch all our fountains and swimming pool. She usually rests here alone in the fresh air. Suddenly decided to leave early in the morning. You have to keep your eyes open. Here we have a lot of trees and it could get stuck on one of them. Let's not even ask how she got there if we find her. As long as she's alive. It seems that she is not here at all. Where else could she be? We have inspected the entire territory of our house. By the way, she has her own house with a garden. Run look there. Let's not go to her house first. Suddenly she is not in the house, but somewhere on the territory. Let's first inspect the site and then we will go to the house. It's safer this way. She has a very large area and she usually comes here. After all, she has a huge vegetable garden, which must be looked after. Maybe she's going to go and water him full now. Now I will look at the entire territory of the garden. Apparently it is not here because it is not even visible. But I will still carefully look at each seedling. It can be here. In the territory of Fluttershy, she is not at all. She does not even swim in her pool or sunbathe. Here is completely empty, and I think that she was not here at all. But better check the house. Maybe she's hiding from us and playing hide and seek. It is better to look at every corner of this territory because it may be in danger, in case she is confused somewhere. It seems that she is not here at all. Let's go to the house and check there. Suddenly she came to her home after the garden and fell asleep. There's no trace of it. She has a big three-story house. So now we are specially distributed on each floor to thoroughly and quickly check everything. She should be here. If she's not even here, where can she be? This is the last place she could go alone. Usually in the city we walk all together, and one she definitely will not leave. Let's look. She has such a beautiful wooden house. I never thought that wooden houses could be so beautiful. I always wonder at her house. But now I'd like to find Fluttershy here. On the third floor, I can't find her. It's like she fell through the ground and we can't find her. What a mess. I hope we can find her somewhere. I'm worried sick. The ground floor is also very empty. Something we must find here. At least some sign that she has gone somewhere. And here, I don't think there's even a trace that she's here. It looks like she's not even in her house. It's just awful and it can't be. Let's look for her now just all over the city because we have no choice. I want to find her already. So, now we start looking for Fluttershy right across the city. We are distributed on different sides and now we will look for our friend. I wish she was here. This town is big enough to take a long time to find it, but we will still try to do it because for the sake of a friend, we are ready to do everything, even if we are very tired. 
She used to like to go to the upper part of our city, where the big and very beautiful houses. I'll run right over there to see if it's there or not. There's a big slide. So far, I can't even notice her anywhere. In other people's houses, she cannot be, because we hardly know anyone here. She could only be stolen, but our people are very kind. I have already run exactly half of the entire bottom of our city. It is not at all. We have a little further, there is a large park, and it will probably be there. I don't know exactly. In her favorite neighborhood, too, she is nowhere. Now we have run all over our city and the places where she likes to walk with us the most. She's nowhere to be found. Can we check the mountains? Some kind of speech about the mountains also once came. She once wanted to go with us to the mountains, but we could not. We were all busy. What if she's alone? In the mountains alone is very scary and dangerous to be found. I really hope that everything is okay with Fluttershy and she just walked here. Let's run all the mountains. Although we have high mountains, but not as long as the roads in the city. So the three of us here will be much easier to find Fluttershy. The main thing is to keep looking for her. This is definitely the last place she can be. There's nowhere else we can find her. We just need to go through all the mountains and we can definitely find our friend. I am already very tired of running in the mountains, but I will not stop anyway. My friend is missing somewhere and is very close to us. I won't have to leave her for this. Looks like I saw something suspicious in the mountains. Let's hurry up and see what's out there. I think it was Fluttershy, only she was in a very strange form. Yay! At last we have found you, Fluttershy. What happened to you? Why do you look like a real child? Where have you been all this time? We really lost you. Yes, Fluttershy. Please tell us why you weren't in our house when we all woke up. We were really worried about you, and we thought something was wrong with you. And it is. We ran around all our houses, which we can enter, and even pass through the whole city. Why did we meet you only in the mountains? We wanted to go to the mountains together, not just you. Friends, calm down. I am also glad to see you all. I just went out early in the morning and gathered all my thoughts, but I was bewitched and I became small. But it's temporary. Soon I will be big again. Well, if you're gonna get better soon and you're gonna be good again, we can go home then. Now we'll walk you home and then we'll finish this series in peace. No wonder we were looking for you. Here we are at home. Fluttershy, how good that we could still find you today. If the search had dragged on into the night, I wouldn't know what it would be. It's just awful. I can't even imagine. Well, the main thing is that we are all home. Fluttershy grew up while we ran home. We can go back to the old life in this big city, but we did very well today. Let's finish today's series then. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like this series, like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye. Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. We have heard the terrible news that someone is robbing the forest. Let's solve this problem. Hello, everyone. It turns out that in our forest, in which we are now going to live, some big giants have begun to inhabit. They are destroying all villages and terrorizing civilians. Hi, hi. With this definitely need to do something. It's just a horror. We cannot leave everything so. Let's build some bait for them to come to us and we'll liquidate them. We decided now to build a big house, which they will definitely see from afar, since they are giants. We will build a house from a rock for a start. I think they'll have a hard time breaking it. The house must also be large and spacious for us to fit in. Yet if we build a small house, it will be easier to break it giants and we will be very small. So we are building something like this house. In order to build this house as quickly as possible, we decided to split up our duties. If each of us does a certain part, then we will definitely quickly build. We do not have much time to build this house, so we better hurry. They only attack at night all the time, so we have all day to build something against them. I think one house out of the boulder is not enough for us. These are giants. They can just tear down our house. Let's try to strengthen our house with some block. For example, the second layer of rock. Great idea. Now we will finish the house and work on strengthening our house. Because I also think that giants can demolish our house very easily. So now we will just strengthen our home with a second layer of protection. For this, we have chosen one of the strongest blocks in Minecraft. It'll be obsidian, of course. Obsidian is the second strongest block in Minecraft. 
stronger than it will only be the hips, which is absolutely impossible to break. Obsidian can only be broken with a diamond axe. But I don't know if the giants can crush our house or break it. I think that if they step on our house, they will stand as if in detail Lego. They will hurt, but the house will not break. <sighs> don't worry, Applejack. This protection will definitely help us. I don't think they will be so huge that they will be tall with some big mountain. They'll just be big. For example, three times our size. We're just about to finish the second layer, and we're going to have to figure out how we're going to eliminate these giants. I think the best idea is to build traps against them. So now, we will begin to build our first trap. It must be the main one, so we start from it. So now we will tell you all about her. You will love her. This trap will represent a big hole. It will be very deep and fall into it all our enemies who can't jump it, or even if they don't notice it. It's gonna be impossible to get out of there, and it's gonna take some trying. I'm just not sure the giants can't jump it. We don't have the time or the space to build a very large ditch that the giants can hardly jump. We can't get out of here by ourselves. From the bottom of these pits, we will place spikes that will kill all enemies that will fall there. After all, if they just fall there, they may not crash and will live there in caves. And we definitely do not need this. There is very little time left to build this pit. We still have plenty of it and we're going to have to think gradually about the next traps we're going to make for these giants. I have already figured out which one better to make the giant trap next. Let's just finish building the moat now. We still need to do it all around our house. The second trap to date will be, of course, bear traps. Giants, I think, will be the size of a huge bear, and they will definitely fall for this trap a little. It will stand immediately after the moat. It will be a very effective trap at the moment of the giant's attack on us. They will surely be chasing us. So once they jump over the moat, they will immediately fall into traps that will hurt them. With giants, of course, will be a little difficult. They are very large, and it is difficult to make some huge trap in our territory. We used to only do for some little enemies. If we knew how big the giants would be, we'd have no problem doing anything at once. And here, we don't even know what size they're going to be and we figured they'd be three times bigger than us. Now we are already completing the construction of our second trap. Bear traps seem to be enough on our territory. Now we can proceed to the third trap. I think giants will surely fall in them. The next trap will represent deep pits. They will work very interesting. Everyone knows that we will run through the territory. These are the pits that will save us. When attacking us, they will run through our territory. So, you will need to make traps right on the territory. So, we came up with the idea of making holes that would be hidden by hidden blocks. The pits must be deep enough like a ditch. Yet the enemy will have to fall in them and no longer have to get out. It will be impossible to get out of here for sure. I'm sure of it. And at the bottom, we will definitely pour lava, which will gradually eliminate our enemies. Now they will definitely not be able to get out of here. Just which block will we use to hide? For this, we have blocks of hidden grass. This is literally the carpet that we will lay over the pits. As soon as you step on it, you immediately fall under it. And under it, there will be holes. Great idea, then let's finish building these pits and hide them. We can still build another trap before nightfall, which we can use just in case. The next trap will be exactly the last of all that we could build. We simply do not have time to do everything until the night. That's why we have to move quickly to our fourth trap. This trap will be a kind of additional moat, which will definitely be useful for us to get away from these children, my little pony. Now, we will tell you everything in detail. It is unlikely that anyone will fall into it, but it will prevent the enemies from jumping the main ditch. They either will not see it or cannot jump. There won't be much room for dispersal. This trap we will definitely pour lava so that we have some lighting. And plus, it can slightly scare the children of My Little Pony who are unlikely to climb here at all. We're almost done making this ditch on one side and we'll have to extend it all over the place. I think we should make it through the night. Just work and don't stop. Night has come! Oh my God! How huge are they? They are not exactly three times bigger than us. We did not expect such a size. I hope all our traps work. It is necessary to be constantly ready because they can attack us at any moment. By the way, for giants, any movement is very heavy and slow. 
so we can easily escape. Oh no! So they started chasing us! What a mess! Run away from them! You need to run around the entire precinct from them so that one of them falls into the traps. As far as I saw, the moat works very well. They run very slowly. We can even catch them from behind while running from them. They don't even look any scary. It looks like they're planning something or they're just hurt. Let's run now into the house. There we will definitely be safer than on the street. They will surely see that we have run somewhere, but they cannot break our house. I at least hope so. We're finally home and we can feel safe. Now we just have to wait for them all to fall into our traps and we beat them like this. Hurrah, we could do it. We eliminated the real giants of My Little Pony. Now the whole forest can sleep peacefully in peaceful residence too. They should be thanking us for that. Not for nothing, we tried and did this house with traps all day. We are very tired, but we did everything we could. The most important thing is that we have finally eliminated the giants. Subscribers, thank you for watching! If you liked today's series, like it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon! Bye! Hello, friends. Hi, dear subscribers. Today we will play a game called Minecraft. We have received some very shocking news that has been reported to us by innocent civilians in the forest. Hello, everyone. It turns out that in this forest some strange children began to dwell. My Little Pony! They're not nice at all, and I think someone is pretending to be them and destroying villages. Hello! I suggest you make some bait for them to learn more about them. Let's build some big house. They'll definitely come after him to rob him. Now then, let's start already building our house. Let's not delay and build already this big house. It has to be very spacious so we can fit in it. Yet, there are four of us. We will build the house principally out of a rock. Because if we build a house of wood, it will be quite easy to burn. We must do something to keep this house safe from these bandits. This is the kind of house we already have. It is quite large and must be completely covered with a rock so that no one could penetrate it. This is our only chance to be safe. I don't even know how children can attack anyone, let alone destroy entire villages. I'm getting really scared of this news, and I'm going to try to keep us completely safe. Especially in order to quickly build a house, we are divided into duties. Each of us will do a certain part of the house. We'll make the house very quick. If you think about it, it will be better to somehow protect our house. And we are almost finishing it, but it does not look reliable. We have to do something now. So we came up with a solution to our problem. We're going to make an extra layer of protection for our house so that no one can get into it easily. And the block for the second layer chosen stronger. It's obsidian. It's almost the strongest block in Minecraft. Stronger than it will only be the hips, which is generally impossible to break. Obsidian can only be broken with a diamond axe. Obsidian is so strong that it is impossible to blow it up. And it is very simple. You just need to mix water with lava and will obsidian. Not for nothing we chose such a unit for protection. We'll have to cover our entire house with obsidian so no one can get in. I don't think the children of My Little Pony can break obsidian so easily. But it will attract their attention. We have to finish with the second layer. We still have plenty of time before the attack and we need to come up with how we will eliminate these evil children. My little pony! Yet we have protection, and there are no traps for them. Then we will begin now to build traps. We have already invented a few pieces, and I think we can make them before night. The main thing is that we already have protection, namely our home. Now we are digging a deep hole that will help us a little eliminate these kids, my little pony. They'll fall into it if they can't jump, and getting out is next to impossible. It will be like a moat around our house. It will separate our territory from the rest of the forest. Also, in this hole, we will place spikes that will deal damage to enemies. This moat must be deep enough. That is why we are all together now, digging it deeper and deeper. By the way, we get it quite quickly. We try very hard. Continue in the same way. We must build this ditch not only on one side, but completely around our home. We do not know which side the enemies will attack from. It's so they don't run him. We're just finishing up the front of our moat, and most importantly, you know how we do it. Now we will make it completely around our house and proceed to the next trap. We have already invented it. Each of the traps will be connected to our main moat. We will build all the traps from it, because we have little territory to make a lot of different traps. 
Now we will tell you everything. In the second trap, we place a lot of bear traps immediately after the moat. They will confuse the enemies and deal great damage. This will definitely slow them down, and they may even fall into our moat. Traps can even tear the leg off our enemies, and that means that we almost eliminate them with them. The important thing is, if we attack, we can get away from them and hide in our house. We will also place these traps all over the entire territory, yet everything should be symmetrical. This way, these children will not be able to enter our territory. They will attack us at night, and so we will need to accelerate. Yet we do not have much time before their attack. I hope you understand me. Let's just finish up and build the next trap. By the way, I have already figured out what we will do in the next trap. Now finish and tell you all. The next trap will represent deep pits. They will work very interesting. Everyone knows that we will run through the territory. These are the pits that will save us. When attacking us, they will run through our territory. So, you will need to make traps right on the territory. So we came up with the idea of making holes that would be hidden by hidden blocks. The pits must be deep enough like a ditch. Yet the enemy will have to fall in them and no longer have to get out. It will be impossible to get out of here for sure. I'm sure of it. And at the bottom, we will definitely pour lava, which will gradually eliminate our enemies. Now they will definitely not be able to get out of here. Just which block will we use to hide? For this, we have blocks of hidden grass. This is literally the carpet that we will lay over the pits. As soon as you step on it, you immediately fall under it. And under it, there will be holes. Great idea, then let's finish building these pits and hide them. We can still build another trap before nightfall, which we can use just in case. The next trap will be exactly the last of all that we could build. We simply do not have time to do everything until the night. That's why we have to move quickly to our fourth trap. This trap will be a kind of additional moat, which will definitely be useful for us to get away from these children, my little pony. Now, we will tell you everything in detail. It is unlikely that anyone will fall into it, but it will prevent the enemies from jumping the main ditch. They either will not see it or cannot jump. There won't be much room for dispersal. This trap we will definitely pour lava so that we have some lighting. And plus, it can slightly scare the children of My Little Pony who are unlikely to climb here at all. We're almost done making this ditch on one side and we'll have to extend it all over the place. I think we should make it through the night. Just work and don't stop. Night has come. We have finished all our traps and we see in the bushes running these kids My Little Pony. They are very hard to see, but they are. Just look at it. They look so harmless and defenseless. I can't imagine they would ever kill civilians or even destroy entire villages. Stand by, they must attack soon. Oh my God, here they come at us. What a horror, run rather from them. As I saw, several of our enemies were trapped. This is very good, but a few are also coming after us. We have to run all over the territory. They will have to keep behind us and only then can we run into our house. We're gonna do a few more laps and then we can go inside. Oh, they are almost behind us. Run quickly to the house, the most precious, so they do not run right behind us. We will have to escape from them in the house. There's only one left. In the house, we are now safe, and we can only wait for them all to fall into our traps. Sooner or later, it will happen. They can't get out of here anyway. Just waiting. Yay! Finally, we could do it. Now we can relax in our house. We saved a whole forest and all the civilians from these little robbers. The inhabitants will thank us. Not for nothing did we build all these traps. We tried all day over them, and all our efforts were not in vain. We were able to eliminate the children of My Little Pony. I'm so glad we weren't hurt. Subscribers, thank you for watching. If you like this series, like it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye.